Hey folks, back to back, and I got another video that we're gonna go over for oil, used oil testing. But before I get there, uh, one, go down and hit that like button. That's right, hit that like button, and also watch a couple of the ads, help promote this video, and of course help get my videos higher up on the scale. Uh, to help earn, earn more ad revenue because that's what supports everything that I'm doing here for paying for these tests. And uh, it costs money. So help me make the money to keep producing the content because this comes out of my pocket. But uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff before we get into, the, into what we're talking about on the meat and potatoes. Uh, but moving forward, I do have an oil report from my 2011 Ford Edge Front wheel drive, 3.5 Duratec, and it has 318, almost 319,000 miles on it. And it has excellent oil test results. So let's go ahead and check the oil test results out and see what we're doing. All righty, to the meat and potatoes. We have our Blackstone test here. And as you can see, it was done on uh, January 20, uh, 29th. And we had 155 hours on the oil. Remember, I go by hours. I don't go by that, that unknown stuff called mileage because I don't know how long my engine's been running. So this uh, Ford Edge 3.5 Duratec V6 oil type. Guess what? Oil type. Nothing. Okay. Here is a photo of what oil I had in it. That's right. Six different brands and probably two or three different weight viscosities. That's right. It was an oil cocktail. It was whatever I had on the shelf. And of course we went ahead and changed it. Going down. Uh, Blackstone knows this uh, edge quite well. It says Little Bell's edge is still going strong at 318,591 miles. Sure, the iron is at the highest level on the page, but that isn't saying much. The level is still below the universal average, and a small increase of two parts per million looks a lot more like normal variation than anything problematic. The other metals are good and low. Your blend of six different oils ended up with a viscosity in the 5W30 range or so. And the TBN was 1.9, which means the uh, store of active uh, additive wasn't depleted. So, good oil. And the, nothing on the oils was special, folks. Trust me. What we, what we got here is we got oil test results going back uh, to June of 2019. These are all oil tests for my 2011. And that's all they are. But we're going to concentrate on this one for 155 hours and see where we're at. Right now, universal average is 4. The aluminum was 4. Chromium was 0 for universal, and also the chromium on this engine was 0. Universal averages for iron is 11, and old Lou is running at 9. Historically, 8, 8, 6, 7, 7, and then a 9. Now there could have been some iron in the oils before I even started using it. And that's a very strong possibility, folks, because some oils will start out with a one part per million iron. So it stands to reason that that's why they're saying that. The copper was two parts per million. The universal average is 16. Now keep in mind, folks, the lead is zero, and the universal average is one. And the tin is one and the universal average is zero so essentially all my metals as you can see are very very low when compared now the tin I had two the last time I had one so that might have been a carryover from that one and uh, brought a little leaching in for the for the uh, one but overall this is a 318,000 mile Duratec engine with this low of Oh, sorry, I should have moved this up. But as you can see, all the oil averages here. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. But you can see them now. But the metals, like I said, 4, 0, 9 for iron, 
two for copper, zero for lead, and one for tin. That's where we're at with this. And uh, I'm saying that's pretty good shape as far as the oils go, and we don't have any problems here. Now, going down, I'm not too concerned about the rest of the numbers, but I just wanted to point out that this 318,000 mile Duratec is below the universal averages for engines with less miles. That's right, less miles. So, uh, my maintenance regime at 10 to 12,000 mile increments basically although some of these are shorter I know you guys can all chastise me I was doing oil testing and I ran one oil filter the Purilator Boss for 18,000 miles that's why these are shorter intervals but they come out to about 18,000 miles I ran one one oil filter for that run I did not change the oil filter so that's why they're shorter but if you look at the other ones 280 to 292 that's one run there folks 12,000 miles so uh, I'm not changing the oils like some of you do every three four thousand miles I'm changing it 10 to 12,000 miles now the molly in my cocktail was 83 the nickel was zero the manganese was uh, manganese was one uh, the silver was zero as you can see there and uh, the titanium was three, the uh, potassium was zero, the boron was 49, and the silicon was 10, with the sodium at three, and then the calcium was at 1483, manganese, magnesium rather, was at 433, phosphorus is at 716, and zinc was 810, with barium at zero. Not a bad run for a cocktail. If you look at the numbers comparatively, uh, some of them were actually lower than this, and some of these were actually higher for my mixture. So, uh, yeah, I've been playing with these cocktails, and, and I'm not doing it on purpose. There's no rhyme or reason of what I'm trying to attempt to do here, but I am proving to all you oil folks that this mixture of oils doesn't mean anything change your oil change it on time and you won't have a problem it doesn't matter what oil you're using AMS oil uh, Redline, Schaefer's, y'all can take a jump this does not mean anything change your oil use a synthetic marketed yes marketed air quotes uh, oil it doesn't matter the price uh, I've proven this there's no additives used in this engine. This is what you get if you change your oil and do it on time without wasting money. Now, as far as the SUS viscosity, again, you can see it's heavier because it is closer to the 530. And then the CST viscosity uh, is, of course, 9.42. The flash point, definitely a higher flash point, 430 compared to all the others. Uh, so the oil is definitely doing good there. Fuel is definitely in good shape. Across the board, I have no injector problems. And then antifreeze, hey, keep in mind, this engine has the original water pump. And look at that beauty all the way across. No water pump failures. Uh, no water in the oil. Insolubles is always at uh, 0 0.2 across the board, except for one glitch there. And then the... TBN 1.9, 2.4, 2.2, 3.7. These are the shorter duration runs, so therefore they're higher. These are the longer durations. So if you run at 10 to 12,000 miles like I do highway, these are what you're aiming for at 10 to 12. And these are, of course, the 6,000 mile readings. So that tells you the TBN does get used up. But overall, that pretty much does it as far as the oil test results. And I will have a challenge in the group, and let me cover what that challenge will be. All right, that challenge that I was talking about uh, is uh, for my Facebook group, MacT Ford Edge. I'm giving away you know, MX Plus. That's right one of these devices right here I have about eight of them left to give away or seven 
I had 15 so we're getting down there and I'm giving those away but there are challenges uh, so the only way to participate is by joining MACT Ford Edge on Facebook and of course my MeWe and everything else if you want to go in there I've been giving them away there too so anyway uh, my next challenge I'll post it up on the Facebook group after I post this video uh, is for anyone with an engine lab test from whatever lab on their Ford Edge 3.5 because I don't want to compete against Duratex because or uh, EcoBoost because they I've I've learned that the EcoBoost has higher metal content so uh, let's stick with the 3.5 3.7 uh, you're gonna have to run your oil at least 6,000 miles and uh, after you run it 6,000 miles you do an oil test if you have an oil test uh, I will take and uh, verify it. I will need to verify that it is to your edge, not something you pulled off the internet. And uh, has your name on the test and, and the date and all this other stuff. It can be an older one, but it has to meet the 6,000 mile requirement for uh, engine run time uh, as far as miles. And uh, if, if you have lower, in other words, lower, below my number, of metal count uh, then you get put into a pool to be drawn out of hat to win this MX Plus okay so I know not many people do this so I don't expect a large amount of participation but those of you who have been doing oil testing this is a chance to win an MX Plus worth $100 so uh, that's that's the, that's the challenge I never said these challenges are going to be easy and I did give away an MX Plus yesterday simply by taking the 16th caller. Yeah, I had people call me and boom, gave one away. So sometimes they're easy, but other times you're going to have to work for it. So anyway, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. That's what I want you to do. And go ahead and uh, po you know, post up your uh, oil test. You can uh, omit your uh, address or whatever, blank it out. I'll need to see it to verify it when you do win. But uh, that just between me and you, but I will need to verify. You must have a U.S. mailing address to win, and uh, you know, hey, hopefully the best man or woman wins and uh, has a better uh, engine metal wear than me. Remember, we'll take in all the metals, we'll add them all up, and if say mine comes out the total of 14 and yours comes out to 13, you get put in the pool. If it comes over 14, you're out of the running. So check your oil reports, count up the total metals that I listed there, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. But until then, my feet at the floor day, I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day too, and I'll see you on Facebook. Thank you for watching MacT's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.